I'd just like to endorse Hal's plan of action. I think it's a good one. We're not exactly sure when we met Jack, but he joined our community TV group in 1992. And we worked together briefly on programs for Sydney's new community TV channel. You're probably aware the uh, Newtown post office is also being sold, and over in Redfern, it would be sold at the farm. We don't stop them. Most of these post offices were paid for by our parents, grandparents, or great grandparents, and I don't think they've got any right to actually sell them. Thanks. Our paths diverged and crossed for a decade or so until around 2007 when Jack was working for the Community Restorative Centre. He initiated a project that involved producing five drama documentary videos. This was a project that saw Hall make his acting debut as a judge and Jane, her debut as a prosecution lawyer. From there, Jack moved on to the Australian That's Services it. Union. That's it. Jack made a lot of videos for that union, of which about 10 we collaborated with him. Have you got the South Australians with you? One notable moment was Julia Gillard informing us of the pending Equal Pay for Women victory. The Australian Government will join with the Australian Services Union to make a joint submission to Fair Work Australia. We will argue for rates of pay which don't discriminate. Think of the money. <laughs> Jack's early days were spent as a community transport activist. He set up South Sydney Community Transport and mobilised his elderly clients for a number of rallies and a bank sit-in. Got your phone? Yep. Got it? Camera rolling. Camera rolling. Okay, action. You're in shot. So we're transporting the very frail aged. Jane also led a number of community transport organisations where we collaborated with Jack making video programs. I need to shout there, that's all. Okay, okay. So, don't forget to wait for three seconds. I'll jump out of the front. Five seconds. Five seconds. Jack was a strong, passionate, caring and loving human being. He was uncompromising when it came to union and to community struggles. He was scrupulously honest and cared deeply about humanity and society. We are thankful that he counted us amongst his close friends as we did him and we will miss him. Farewell, Jack. He's maybe after the meeting just meet over here and, uh, and Hal will be over here and we'll, we'll try and sort out some, some of these tasks.